Hi there, uh, welcome to the third video in this playlist, I suppose you could say. Uh, the first one we looked at VLOOKUP, the second one we looked at INDEX MATCH and, what, and particularly two ways of why INDEX MATCH is superior to VLOOKUP. Really encourage you to look at those if you haven't already done so, because this next one might just seem a bit of a step too much. Uh, if you're here and you're completely familiar with VLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH, great, welcome to the show. Uh, what we're going to do is just have a quick look. You can see on my screen here, I've got the remnants of our old INDEX MATCH here. So uh, let me just press enter, I'm going to get rid of this, because what we need to do is we need to import information from this sheet here, basically. So we want to bring in import information from that sheet uh, there. So how do I do that? Well, first things first, let us actually uh, delete this data here. Because um, just how I'm going to cover of how we actually import the data, we use a function that's known as import range. So we're just going to have a quick look and see how we import the data. So you can see my data is deleted here. We use a function that's called import range. So how do I do it? So if I just click on F1 here, just because all my index matches, all the data is based on F1. Uh, I'm just going to now zoom in. So if you, if I just zoom in, uh, give you a good idea of how this works. And then it's import range. Great. Now what it's doing, the first argument it's looking for is the spreadsheet URL or the uniform resource locator. That's what it's looking for in import range, the URL. So how do I find that? Well, if I uh, zoom back, oops, I always get confused with that. I'm going to go up to look up sheets and then I'm just going to select the whole thing here. Going to copy it, swap back to this one here, click in my format, uh, sorry, in my formula bar here at the top and just going to paste, right click and paste and here it is. Great. So what I'm going to do here is if I now close off my uh, quotation marks and type in a comma and now it's ready for our second argument here you can see here. So the second argument is looking for the name of the sheet and the range so just so we know what the sheet and the range is there we go so if I go back up to the top I can see just down here it is sheet one and then if I look at the top here I can see my range here is literally I'm going to use the A and the B column so it's going to be everything all the way down all right so let us go back and we'll add in this here so open quotation marks oops let's just uh, zoom in a little bit there we go so open quotation marks and it's sheet one exclamation mark let's move my mouse out of the way Okay, and then it's A colon B. Okay, and there we go. Now, the reason why I'm typing this in, if I just zoom back, and when I press enter, and I can see, and it will come up here. Now, firstly, the reason I'm showing you this and typing it in is because when I did this before, it came up with an error. You see, when I created this, I tried to write this function directly into the index match, and it wouldn't have it. So what you need to do is you need to allow access to your sheet. So what I did here is I can, what you'll, you'll do is over round about here is that you will see a little button that says allow access. You need to allow access to your sheet. That's great. And now you can link to those sheets. It's not, uh, not a, won't be an issue now. So now we've known this, what we need to do is we need to get this function and paste it into this function here, basically. So how do we do it? So let's click on this function uh, just here at the top. Uh, I want you to select everything except for the equals at the beginning there. So notice I hadn't selected the equals, but I've got everything else selected. And then I'm going to copy, okay there. And then I'm going to go down and uh, just escape out of that. Brilliant. And now the index match, instead of FF, let me highlight FF. In fact, let me just zoom in as well so you can see. I'm going to get rid of FF here and then I'm going to paste my import range. Okay, and instead of FF, um, let's just swap back to the other sheet here. In fact, let me just zoom back here so you can see. So back to the other sheet, and it's going to be A, because it's the A column where I want to get the values. I want to return the values from the A column. So let's go back here, and instead of, there we go, AB, I'm going to change that to AA. Great. So almost there. We just need to do the same with the G part of the formula. So highlight the GG there. Okay. Brilliant. So just highlight that G. We're going to backspace to delete. And then I'm going to paste in that 
import range again. I'll tell you what, I'll just bring this down to a new line. Alt and Enter allows me to do this. In fact, I can hover over this bit here and then just drag this down to make myself some more space. There we go. All right, then. So what I need to do is this one is going to be B. So over here, I'm going to change it to B because that's the one I want to cross-reference. It's going to look at B2. I just close that one off. It's going to look at B2 here and it's going to cross-reference it with the B column over here to find out when the, where the spend's coming from. All right, so let's go back. Let's press Enter. Wait for a year and a day uh, and have a quick look. And yes, that's come back as a B which is great. And now I'm just going to auto fill that one down like so, ready to go. Uh, great. So proof of the pudding, they say, is in the eating. So let us take a bite. So we're going to highlight here and we are going to press the delete button to delete that. <gasps> Whew. You know, my heart almost stopped there, you know. But if we look over here, we can see our ratings are there. Absolutely fine. Uh, we can see lots within the D's here, but of course, if I just change some values, let's change one to 100,000. There we go. Oh, that's a million. That goes to an A. There we go. And that goes to a C. Great. And now that is getting it from another sheet. So I can then decide, you know what? I just need to shift this one down here a bit. You know, um, let's add another. Let's go up a little bit here. Let's just add another rating in here. Let's go E. That's 10,000. That's good. Oh, let's just change all that to pounds and pence. So now we can, we've can. we got a new rating. We've got an E. Anyone between 10,000 and 5,000. So if I have a look. And uh, there we go. Blogs has automatically picked up that E. So with this lookup, you can use this now as a basis for many different types of lookup tables. You can do financial years, etc. if you need to uh, as well. So all of those types of tables you can stick in there with like a date table and you can do sort of different types of financial uh, statements. Uh, if you've ever seen about a date table, I've done one in a Power BI training course as well. But the idea of this is, is you have lots of lookups that you use for your company, financial year, etc., that you would type in there. So if you haven't already done so, please have a look at the other two videos, the VLOOKUP one and the index match one. Because if you've gone through this, you might think, well, this is too much because it's the third in this playlist. So have a look at that. Uh, there will be more videos coming. There'll be more tutorials. So if you haven't already done so, please click on the subscribe button and click that little bell so you get new, new notifications uh, and give us a thumbs up as well. Please feel free if you wish to share this video on any of your uh, social media platforms, etc. More than welcome to do that. Uh, it's great. If you get anything out of it or you thought there's anything I've left out or something that I haven't explained too well, put it in the comments below and um, I'll endeavor to make improvements. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.